Welcome to a DLJ Works tutorial and in this video, this particular tutorial, I'm going to actually show you how to properly share your Google form to another account with somebody else. Now, this is actually a very easy, <laughs> relatively easy thing to do. However, there are a quick little, some actual details you need to make sure you clear up when you're actually trying to share your, your form but have the person that's actually going to use it or you're sharing it with we just want them to make a copy so that's the essence of this video just to pretty much show you how to actually get the other person to make a copy without them needing some other information so without further ado let's get started we're going to just open up one of these blank forms here okay and i'm just going to do something random okay i'm gonna name this my random form all right and then here okay we'll click that and i'm only going to do uh, for the sake of this one multiple choice question okay option add other options uh oh x that out add option 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 all right we'll leave that as required now i'm going to do and well i'll just change the color just for the sake of this tutorial okay so i want to share this form now here's the thing this is what we're going to go to we're not going to go to send because the person i want to share it with when i want to share it with that other person, they want to be able to make a copy of it so they can edit on their own. So we're not sharing it and they're not doing it off of the original form off of my account. So what we're going to actually do is come down here to add collaborators. Now, I'm not going to invite anybody. So what I'm going to do, you see this little code right here, okay, where it says edit question mark USP equals sharing that's the part that we're going to edit now I'm going to right click and copy and this is also important this is the other detail that I don't really see a lot of tutorials actually talking about but you have to go here where it says change and this is important if it's off specific people when somebody tries to click on a link that you're sharing it's going to request that they have access now go ahead and show you what that looks like so i'm actually going to leave this on click save all right and i'm just going to click done okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to send this to my other personal email account okay i'm gonna go to gmail.com all right okay i'm going to compose to deal all right and next is this right here subject my form shared and i'm going to paste that code here and i'm not going to i'm actually going to change this now where it says edit to copy all right that's important you must change it to copy because i want them to actually make that shared form so now i'm going to go to send Okay, now I'm going to go to my other account, which is here on my Firefox browser. I'm going to go to Gmail. All right, from here, my form share coming from my other account. Now, when I try to click on here, this is what it's going to say. You need permission. Okay, we need permission. So we don't want it. We don't want it to say that. When we share it with other people we want them to simply be able to make copies without them needing permission so i'm going to go ahead and just not request access i'm going to actually close this out now i'm going to go back to my original account go to forms and i'm going to go back to add collaborators and this time i'm going to change this to anyone with the link so anyone with the link can automatically make copies and as long as you share it, that editing part to copy you should be fine Next, you also don't want to say where it says public, anyone on the internet can find access, no sign in required. You could do that, I guess, but really we want to just go ahead and keep this as uh, close to private as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and on anyone with the link, click save. All right, then click done. Remember, we don't have to add any, I'm not inviting anybody. We're just making this link accessible, easily accessible. So now I'm going to go back to my other account. All right, now I'm going to click on this and now it says copy document and I'm going to make a copy and voila. And if I go back to my forms and it is right there and I have a copy of it made. So that's pretty much it. That's how you easily 
share a link on Google Forms so somebody else can easily copy it without having to grant or request access or permissions. Um, if you like this video, thumb it up. If there's something that I did not quite clearly explain, please let me know in the comments section. You can send, email me privately, whatever the case may be. I am here for you. Thanks for watching. God bless y'all. I'll see you in the next video. DLJ Works Tutorial.